Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your algorithms because I got a crazy idea. So in this video, I will be creating an entire YouTube channel using only AI. I'm super excited about this. So just sit back, relax and uh, let the AI amazing journey begin. Hey, it was ChatGPT who wrote that joke. Actually, ChatGPT wrote kind of the whole intro. But yeah, that's beside the point. Where are you going? You're lost. All right, so AI's first task is to find a niche to create the videos in. So I will be using VidIQ's AI coach for this. AI coach is basically like ChatGPT, but it's been trained on some YouTube specific things. So I will be asking AI coach to give me a list of 50 YouTube shorts niches that don't require me to be on camera. Okay, so we got how to's, life hacks, reviews, travel tips could work, cooking. So I have a great idea on uh, what we could do with cooking. I saw this guy on Twitter who had made his entire meal plan using only ChatGPT. So I think I should do the same. I should ask ChatGPT for recipes and then we will also have ChatGPT write a YouTube short script from that recipe. Now I need a name for my cooking YouTube channel. So I will be using Namelix's business name generator for this. So let's just add the keywords here. That should probably be enough. I'll click generate. All right, there we go. We have things like food munch, mealable, meal time could work. Oh, I like frugal meals. Namelix actually just gave us our little like sub niche within cooking. What if I create videos around like cheap and easy meals that everyone can make at home? Yeah, frugal meals. That sounds like a plan. Um, now we just need a logo. All right, so I will be using the AI branding tool called Luca to create the sort of overall visual branding for frugal meals. I just need to fill out some stuff here. Oh, I need a slogan. So uh, let me just ask ChatGPT real quick for a slogan. Eat well, spend less. That actually doesn't sound too bad. All right, here we have some logos to choose from. You know what? This is actually really good. I think this is probably the best one from here. So we're going with this one. All right, now it's time to create the channel so I can test it out. Um, there we go. Okay, now I have added the channel icon and banner to the channel and it actually looks so good. Let's see how the rest of the project turns out. Oh, but we still need a bio. So let's just go back to vidIQ's AI coach and uh, ask it. Frugal Meals is the go-to place for budget-friendly, quick and easy recipes that don't sacrifice flavor. We bring you delicious meals and snacks that are easy to make and won't break the bank. Join us on our journey to discover delicious food that won't eat up your budget. <laughs> That's actually so good. All right, I figured it would be a good idea to be in the kitchen when doing this part of the video. So yeah, we're going to have ChatGPT write a recipe for us and also script out the video. We're going to start off by asking it, give me 10 meal ideas that are cheap. So we got spaghetti, we got baked potatoes, black bean tacos, chicken fajitas and lentil soup. I think chicken fajitas would be a great recipe to create because those are, I, I don't think that's too complicated and there are not that many ingredients. So I think we'll go with that. I will give it the prompt, make a chicken fajita recipe that is budget friendly. I mean, I don't even know how this works, but it we actually have a full recipe on how to make budget friendly chicken fajitas. So ChatGPT kept on crashing on me, but eventually I got it to write this YouTube short script for me. All right, now it's time for the voiceover. So there are plenty of text-to-speech softwares. There are good ones. There are bad ones. So I just chose this that popped up on Google. It's called Natural Readers. So yeah, let's paste in the script and uh, see how it sounds. 
Today, I'm making a budget-friendly chicken fajita recipe that's quick, easy, and delicious. Let's get started. You'll need one pound chicken. This actually sounds amazing. I like how the AI's voice is so, it's so calming and I know I think this will work very good on a cooking YouTube short. So good and so easy. All right, so now we get to the steps that are a little bit more complicated for AI to do. And that is to create the actual video. So I think my best bet is to have these AI image generators create images for the video. But I'm not sure how good these image generators are with food. But I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm going to use a software called Runway ML, I think. It's mainly a video editing AI tool that I used for some projects. But I noticed they also have this image generator tool. So yeah, I'm going to try that one out and uh, let's see how it turns out. Okay, I mean, these look decent. Some of them look a bit weird, but hey, this actually look quite a lot like raw chicken breast. <laughs> Why does this bell pepper have two of the like green top things? I don't know what it's called, uh, but it's two of them there. <laughs> Onion looks good. This vegetable oil, I don't know if that's like some sort of uh, Arabic, it's probably not, but it, it looks, it looks kind of funny. Anyways, I guess we have to go with this one as well. All right, I'm now inside of Adobe Premiere and uh, I have imported the voiceover and the images now. And I know, I know this is technically not 100% AI. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. But there is an AI tool inside of Adobe Premiere. And that is, of course, the auto transcription and subtitling tool. So that's what I'm going to use right now. So to do auto captions, you just go up to this text tab here, click transcript and click transcribe sequence. And once it's transcripted, you can just click on the create caption button up there. And then just add your styling to the text and uh, you are good to go. But there's one thing still missing from the video and that is a background music track. And of course we only can use AI music. So I found this tool called Strophe and here I can select a mood for my track. I'm just going to click happy and then click create. So you can actually mute different instruments here. Uh, so I, I will try to mute the trumpet and the saxophone and uh, just try to play around with it and see if, we, if I can get it to, to sounding good. Okay, this one I can't get it to sound good, so I'm just going to re-roll this and hopefully we get a better song. Okay, so after playing around with this for a while, I decided to mute everything beside the bass and the drums. So it's just like a background beat, but it's still sort of an upbeat kind of song. So I think it will sound pretty good. And here is the final result. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to, let's just first play it through so you can see how it looks. Today, I'm making a budget-friendly chicken fajita recipe that's quick, easy, and delicious. You'll need one pound chicken, one red pepper, one yellow onion, one tablespoon oil, two teaspoons chili powder, one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon paprika, salt, pepper, and eight tortillas. Heat the oil, add chicken, spices, and cook until brown. Then add pepper and onion and cook until tender. Warm the tortillas and fill with chicken mixture. Top with cheese, salsa, and more. Give it a try and let me know what you think. So, I mean, it's definitely something uh, i don't know what i think about the video let's just let youtube decide what it thinks about the video so i'm now going to upload it onto youtube and uh, then i'm going to check back like in a day or two and uh, we'll see we'll see how many views it got all right, it's now been two days since I posted the video that AI created and I actually went ahead and posted another video yesterday. So let's go and see how they performed. So I actually made some improvements for the second video. Instead of using Runway ML to generate the pictures, I used a tool called Lunchbox. And Lunchbox is, it's like an image generator, but it's specifically designed for food. 
so all those pictures turned out so much better. So as you can see right now, the first video currently has 675 views and the other one I posted yesterday has 155 views. So not bad, not bad at all. But yeah, I can definitely see how I could continue and grow this and post these like daily. They don't take a lot, a lot of time to create and build up a, a little brand. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. Maybe I'll do another challenge where I try to get this to like a thousand subs or something. Or I just grow this brand and turn it into some like dropshipping cooking product store. But either way, this video was really, really fun to make. I will 100% do more videos similar to this. So yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.